Hello everyone, today we are going to analyze this beam using slope deflection method. Before analyzing, let us see the beam one time. In this beam, there are two spans, span AB and span BC. In the span AB, there is a point load 24 kN. It is acting in the center. In the span BC also, there is a point load 12 kN. It is also acting in the center. The moment of inertia for the span AB is I. For the span BC, it is 2I. Length of the span AB is 10 meter. Length of the span BC also is 10 meter. In the point A, there is a fixed support. In the points B and C, there are hinged supports. The support in the point B sinks by 10 millimeter. The support in the point C sinks by 6 millimeter. The Young's modulus E is given as 12 kN per millimeter square and the moment of inertia is given as 125 in the 10 power 7 millimeter power 4. The moment of inertia I is given in millimeter power 4. So we have to convert it into meter power 4. We know that 1 millimeter is 1 upon 1000 meter. But here we have power 4. So we have to divide this value by 1000 power 4. Finally, we are getting the moment of inertia in meter power 4. The Young's modulus E is given as 12 kN per millimeter square. We have to convert this value into kN per meter square. Here we have mm square. So we have to divide by 1000 square. When we do that, we are getting in kN per meter square. For our own convenience, let us multiply the moment of inertia and Young's modulus. When we do that, we are getting 15,000 kN meter square. The settlement at B is given as 10 millimeter. Let us divide 10 by 1000 so that we will get 0 0.01 meter. In the same way, let us convert the settlement at C. When we divide 6 by 1000, we will get 0 0.006 meter. In this beam, we have to find three moments, MAB, MBA and MBC. Also, we have to find three reactions, RA, RB and RC. The point C is a simply supported end. In the simply supported end, there will be no moment. So, MCB will be zero. Now let us find the fixed end moments. First let us find them in the span AB. In the span AB there is a point load 24 kN. This load is acting in the center. The formulas for the fixed end moments are minus WL upon 8 and positive WL upon 8. In the span AB the support in the point B sinks by 0 0.01 meter. So we have to find the fixed end moments due to sinking of the supports. The formula to find the fixed end moments due to sinking is 6 Ei delta upon L square. The fixed end moments due to sinking will be either positive or negative. We have to find that the fixed end moments due to sinking will be positive if the sinking occurs on the left side of the span. They will be negative 
if the singing occurs on the right side of the span in the span ab the singing occurs in the point b so the singing occurs on the right side so the fixed end moments due to singing will be negative in the formulas let us apply the values w is 24 l is 10 E i is 15,000, delta is 0 0.01. The fixed end moments due to singing will be same for M of A B and M of B A. So we can simply apply this value here. After the calculations, we are getting M of A B and M of B A. Now let us find the fixed end moments in the span BC. In the span BC also there is a point load acting in the center. The formulas for the fixed end moments are minus WL upon 8 and positive WL upon 8. In the span BC the support in the point B sinks by 0 0.01 meter. The support in the point C sinks by 0 0.006 meter. Now we have to find the net settlement. The settlement in the support B is higher than the settlement in the support C. So the net settlement occurs in the point B. To find the net settlement, we have to subtract this value by this value. When we do that, we are getting 0 0.004 meter. Since the net settlement occurs in the left side, the fixed end moments due to singing will be positive. In the formulas, let us apply the values W is 12, L is 10, Delta is 0 0.004. For BC, the moment of inertia is 2i, so we have to multiply the ei value with 2. Here we have to be very careful. We know that the fixed end moment due to singing will be same for both the m of bc and m of cb. So we can simply enter this value here. No need to calculate again and waste the time. After the calculations, we are getting M of BC and M of CB. In this beam, in the points B and C, there are hinged supports. So, the number of supports in which slope can occur is 2. In the point B, there is theta B and in the point C, there is theta C. To find these two unknowns, we need two equilibrium equations. The first equation can be made in the point C. We know that in the point C there will be no moment. So MCB is equal to zero. The second equilibrium equation can be made in the joint B. In the joint B, when we add the moments MBA and MBC, it will be zero. Now let us make the slope deflection equations. First let us make them in the span AB. Let us apply the fixed end moments. Length of AB is 10. Let us apply that. In the point A there is a fixed support. In the fixed support there will be no slope. So theta A will be 0. Finally, in the span AB, we are making two equations. Now, let us make the slope deflection equations in the span BC. In the equations, first let us apply the fixed end moments. Length of BC is 10 meter. Let us apply that. The moment of inertia for BC is 2i. So instead of i, we have to apply 2i in both of the equations. In this equation, we can make the first equilibrium equation. 
for MCB, let us apply 0. Then let us take 22.2 .2 on the other side. It will come as negative. This is our first equilibrium equation. We have made one equilibrium equation, but we need two. We know that the second equilibrium equation can be made in the joint B. In the joint B, MBA plus MBC is equal to zero. We have already made the slope deflection equations for MBA and MBC. Let us apply them. After adding, we are getting these. We have to always keep the numerical on the right side. We have made two equilibrium equations, the fourth one and the fifth one. Now let us use the calculator and solve these two equations. If you do not know how to solve two equations in the calculator, see the description below. There is a link. You can click the link and watch the video. I have used the calculator and got the values of Ea theta b and Ea theta c. When we apply the value of Ea theta b in the equation number 1, we are getting Mab. When we apply the value of Ea theta b in the equation number 2, we are getting MBA. Finally, when we apply the values of Ea theta b and Ea theta c in the equation number 3, we are getting MBC. So, in this analysis, we have calculated all of the movements. For MAB, we got a negative value. That means it is acting in the anticlockwise direction. For MBA, we got a positive value. That means it is acting in the clockwise direction. Finally, for MBC, we got a negative value. That means it is acting in the anticlockwise direction. Now let us find the reactions. First let us take the span AB and find the reactions. By taking movement about to B, we can find RA by applying the rule sigma V is equal to 0, we can find RB1. Now let us take the span BC and find the vertical reactions. By taking movement about to C, we can find out RB2. By applying this rule, we can find RC. In the point B, we have found the reaction two times. Let us add RB1 and RB2 so that we will get RB. Now let us make the shear force diagram. Now let us use these formulas and make free movement diagram. Then using the end movements, we can make end movement diagram. Then we have to combine the free movement diagram and end movement diagram so that we will get bending movement diagram. Now we are going to end this session. Thank you for watching this video.